Before we get into this video, I want you guys to know that today a tragic event occurred. My nail came off, my real nail, it broke in half and it literally came off and it's bleeding and I had to put this bandaid on it. It was the most painful thing. If you guys get acrylic nails, you know this. Also, this nail came off. I'm having a rough week. I have a pimple on my lip that is the size of Saturn. I'm not even kidding with you guys. Um, I have a doctor's appointment right after I film this video because something is wrong with my tonsils. I just did a full face of makeup and then when I got on camera it was so ugly so I took all my makeup off and put it right back on my face. Um, what else is wrong with me? <laughs> I think that's it for now but we'll figure out some more problems that are wrong with me when we get into the rest of the video. What's up guys? Today's video is going to be my summer travel makeup essentials. I'm not sure the title of this video, but it's basically the makeup that I love traveling with and the makeup that is easiest for me to travel with. Um, so yeah, I just figured I would show you guys this because I just got back from a trip and I got a really cute like makeup bag that I can use. And I actually filmed this video before I went on the trip and then I got another makeup bag. So I was like, ooh, I want to film it with this makeup bag. Um, but basically these are things that no matter like where I'm going, if it's just like a four day trip or something like this is the makeup that I am most likely going to bring because obviously I don't want to bring a ton of makeup. I want it to be really easy for me to travel. So yeah. Also, really quickly before I get into this video, thank you guys so much for 100k followers on Instagram. That means so much to me. You guys have no idea. I was actually doing an Instagram live. Comment down below if you guys were watching my Instagram live, but I actually hit 100,000 when I was on Instagram live with you guys, so there's no better way than to celebrate me hitting 100k than being like on Instagram live. All you guys were like, oh my gosh, you hit it, you hit it. So it was really, really exciting, and thank you guys so much for 100k followers. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, definitely go do that. I've been posting pictures from BeautyCon and traveling and all that stuff. I post a lot of things on my Instagram, so yeah, anyway, let's get into the video. So this is the makeup bag that I'm using. It is obviously pretty big. The one I used in the video before I got this bag was actually a smaller NYX bag and it was like really, really easy to pack into my bag. But I just love this bag so, so much. And I actually got this um, from RPR, which they work with like Neutrogena and everything. And I was so, so happy when I got this. I went to lunch with them and they gave this to me and I was so excited. So thank you if you guys are watching this video. I actually like am obsessed with this bag. So, when you open it up, I didn't say what it was, but it's a Henry Bindle bag. So, yeah, anyway, when you open it up, it looks like this has a little mirror. This little pouch also has all of this stuff in here. I'm going to show you guys the makeup in, like, order of how I put them on my face, if that makes sense. So, like, primer, foundation, concealer, blah, blah, blah. You guys get the point. The first thing that I always like to pack is, a, is the Glam Glow Glow Starter. This is just a, like, moisturizer, kind of. And depending on whatever shade I am at the time, I have three shades of these. I have like the lightest and the medium and then the darkest. I just had a spray tan so I am using the darkest shade right now which is in the shade Sun Glow and it's just a moisturizer. And then I like to pack two other primers. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Primer and then I like to pack the Smoothing Primer just for like my forehead, like my T-zone kind of area. So those are the primers I like to pack along with the moisturizer which is kind of like a primer. For foundation traveling, I always like to pack a light foundation and a dark foundation. So I pack the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and these are obviously two very, very different shades. I normally will mix them together for my skin, but if I bring a really dark foundation and then I'm like, oh my gosh, this is way too dark, I always have this Makeup Forever one in the shade um, Y245 and this one is in the shade Y425. So. I have both of these. I will link all of the makeup I'm showing you guys down below, but I always pack a lighter foundation just in case, and I normally have a spray tan, but by the end of my trip, it's kind of washed off, so it's faded. Um, and I also just got this um, foundation, which I actually love. This is the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir. Um, this also has SPF 20 in it, and this is in the shade Creamy Natural, and I'm wearing this today. This is um, this is like a middle shade of these two, but I just normally like to pack a lot of foundation because my skin color changes when I'm traveling and if you're going somewhere tropical, you're going to want like different bronzers and things like that. So getting into that. I only pack one concealer and that is the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. This is just like a universal... I don't know, concealer that I always, always go to. The other thing I like to have when I'm traveling is just like a setting powder that is like my skin tone. So this is the Maybelline Better Skin 
in the shade natural beige and it has a little mirror in it I lost the pouch that like comes with it on this side but it's just a really pretty natural shade and I like to set my whole entire face with this um, if I don't feel like baking or something like that it's just good to have a setting powder with you at all times I normally have this like in my purse or anywhere I'm going just in case I get oily I set my face with this for bronzers I pack two so the first one I pack is the in Panama Sun shade by Becca. This is a really really dark bronzer and this is for when I just get a spray tan Like look how dark that is. I'm not even wearing this today because it's way too dark for me It's like when I have a fresh spray, but I normally will bring a really dark bronzer just in case and then I will bring oh gosh <laughs> And then I'll bring a lighter bronzer. This is the Too Faced bronzer I wore this today and this is the chocolate soleil bronzer in medium deep so I love this shade with both of my bronzers no matter what shade I am no matter what color I am anytime I always 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 have my Smashbox uh, what is this called the baked starburst and this is like an illuminating not illuminating but it just has shimmer in it and you guys I don't know if you guys can tell I've like hit pan on it already and I just got it but I mix it in with my bronzer and it just gives me a really really pretty glow to my face I forgot to show this, but in case I want to go in with like a deeper contour that's like kind of cream, I bring my L'Oreal Lumi cushion in the shade C8. This band-aid is so unattractive. It's not even cute. I'm so sorry. Um, this is a super, super dark shade, and I normally would use that to contour. If you guys have seen any of my other makeup tutorials, I'll always use this to contour um, when I'm really dark, and I want to go with like a full cream contour that day. To set all of that or to like bake my face, I always travel with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is just universal go-to. I will always have this like holy grail makeup product right here. So always travel with translucent powder. For blush, I'm not a big blush girl so I don't pack a bunch. I only pack one. This is the Too Faced Peach one in the shade. Is there even like more shades? It just says peach infused blush. I don't see the shade number but it's really really pretty and it smells good so. So I only pack three like big palettes kind of so to go along with contouring I always bring my Kat Von D shade and light this is like been through it guys like this ha this is a wreck I'm missing an entire one right here this one I've hit pan at the top so normally I just use these two shades to contour with I never use the one the top ones but I always use that one and this is so old like she's already changed the packaging on this I just have this from like forever ago so I always always bring that I don't bring a lot of eyeshadow palettes just because it's like I don't really do that much with my eyeshadow and I feel like bringing this eyeshadow palette this is the chocolate bar palette by Too Faced it like can do any type of look it has like a gold in there it has a dark it has like a purple a pink a maroon like I feel like if I just travel with this for like a few days I'll be fine I don't normally bring a lot of makeup palettes so this one is really really good next I always bring a highlighter I always try not to pack a lot of highlighters because I used to pack like seven like little like Becca highlighters I used to pack so many but now I'm traveling with just the Anastasia um, by Nicole Guerrero glow palette and I actually love this and it's like traveling with a bunch of highlighters but just in one palette currently I use glow getter and 143 and then I always add forever lit on top of it um, if I'm going for a really really glowy look I will always add forever young in with my blush because it's a really pretty pink so I just feel like this palette in general does a lot for my face it's also really good eyeshadow like highlighting and everything so always bring that something also that's really important for me to travel with which I don't use every day is lashes so I always travel with the Ardell wispy lashes this is just like a bunch of them just now when I got back from New York uh, when I went to BeautyCon I had these with me and like I actually love them like they're just so easy to go on so I always bring lash glue this is the duo lash glue I believe and then Ardell wispies for brows I always travel with two specific brow products this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil in the shade soft brown and then I travel with the Anastasia clear brow gel that's all I do with my brows it's really really simple and really easy which is why they look a little ratchet but we're gonna we're gonna live with that I bring two eyeliners with me and I am not like a liquid liner kind of gal I'm just like a stick eyeliner so I use the Urban Decay uh, glide on eye pencil and whiskey this is a brown so if I'm going for a very neutral like everyday look I will always use a brown liner if I'm going for a smokier look I will always use a black eyeliner so this is the Maybelline precise skinny 
I only travel with one mascara and that's because it's like the OG mascara. This is the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. This does amazing things to my lashes. I swear on my life, I could not live a day without that mascara and I like just got on it like a month ago, so. To set my face, I always bring a setting spray. I have so many, but my current favorite right now is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. It is just in a little bottle like this and I love this because it smells like the ocean. It's so crazy. It smells like like lime and like the like sea salt. I don't even know how to describe it, but it smells so good, which is like the main reason I love it right now. <laughs> so for lip products, the best thing I would say to do is to like pack as many lip products as possible. I am such like a hoarder with lipstick, so I always pack like a ton of nudes. So that's basically what I did. So I have this little bag. I think I got this from like a different beauty con or something, but always separate my lipsticks just because I don't like throwing them in my bag. The two lip liners I've been traveling with the most is obviously MAC Spice Lip Liner. I bring this everywhere. I will never go a day without wearing that Spice MAC Lip Liner. Even if I'm like doing a different type of look, I'll always add spice on my lips. I don't know why. Um, and then this is the Makeup Forever Lip Pencil in number 12, I believe. They don't have names. I always have only have numbers. So this is like a more like pinky one in case I'm doing a pink lip. And then I bring like three nude shades. So the first one is this Makeup Forever in the shade 103. This is just a really pretty nude. And then this is a lighter pink nude. So this is like deep and this is, oh my God. <laughs> I can't function and then this is what I've been obsessed with guys like I'm wearing it on my lips today I'm wearing Mac lip liner and I'm wearing this on top of it And this is the vivid hot lacquer by Maybelline and this is in the shade 64 unreal It's so glossy and it stays on all day and it's so pigmented And so I've been traveling with these three nudes because I'm obsessed with them and I need them every day of my life Okay, so because I'm extra and I just like don't like being not prepared, I always pack red lipstick. There's always like a time when I'm traveling and I'm like, oh, I wish I had like a red lip or something. Like if I'm wearing a basic outfit. So this is the Kylie Red Lipstick in the shade Mary Jo K. This is the liner and the lipstick. I travel with both of these all the time. I even have these like in my purse because for some reason I always think that like one of these days I'm going to randomly want red lips and I'm not going to have a red lipstick. Okay, so these next two things are really, really good for traveling with like your makeup brushes and like the utensils you use on your face. So the first thing is from NYX and it is this. They have a bunch of these everywhere, not just NYX has them, but they do have these a lot of different places. And basically it just has a little clip and you pop it open and when you open it up all my makeup brushes are in here and so what I like to do is like when I go to a hotel or wherever I'm staying I like to leave all my face brushes in one of the containers and then move all my eyeshadow brushes in this container and then I like set them on the counter and it's like I'm like at home and like they're in my little jar so I love 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 traveling with this and then it's so easy because like when you're done you just put the little lid on there and then you clip it and it goes in your bag so easily it's just I don't know it's just really cute and I feel like everyone needs these because I used to just throw all my makeup brushes into like a little bag and like they would just all make the bag look like brown and like they would just ruin everything because there was so much makeup on them so it's really really good to travel with just these makeup brushes this is also something I highly recommend if you guys love your beauty blender and you guys travel with it they actually sell these for your beauty blender it is a beauty blender case it also has a keychain on it so you can like clip it to your bag or something but this is perfect because I used to travel with my beauty blender in like a napkin or something because if you guys know if you travel with a beauty blender and it's wet and you throw it in your bag, it's gonna mold. So, if you guys get this, it actually is like ventilated, like it's just like a net kind of, and I just pop my beauty blender in here and then it's good to go. So I highly recommend this. It's amazing for traveling. I like changed my life. Anyways guys, that is all of the makeup travel essentials I have with me. I hope this video helped you organize for your makeup travel essentials. If you guys want any other specific videos while I'm home, which by the way, I am home, which is why like my background is just like white. I'm back home and I have a different background and like setup now. So um, yeah, if you guys want any specific videos that you guys want me to film while I'm home, please, please, please comment them in the comments down below because I love you guys input on my videos and yeah thank you guys again for 100k on Instagram if you're not following me already you definitely should I'm super active on Twitter and Instagram so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next week